Hey there everybody, my name is Kedemar. Welcome back for another video of Old World. We're going to continue this series. As you well know right now, we are about to end one of the uh, one of our years. On the last video, a lot happened. If you uh, missed it, go ahead and check it out before checking this one. It's really important because there's a lot of things that happen. Uh, for one thing, the most important one is that we have a new king. Our former king died of old age. Or he was basically healed and he died of like, I guess, being healed or something like that. So we got a new king, which basically was a really young ki uh, king, right? He was like 13 years of age or something like that when he uh, became king. Now he's 20 and he's uh, an adult. He's got his own wife, which doesn't like him. She doesn't like him at all, which is a problem. Obviously, she's an Assyrian. It doesn't help, right? Because we are preparing ourselves to go at war with the Assyrians. So that's kind of a problem in itself. It's a big problem. I do want to deal with all this. So I'm going to end the year right here. Bearing a blade of unusual metal covered in exotic uh, designs. He discovered it in a deep network of caverns in his lands. And he believes it would make a worthy gift for ruler. You'll take the sword. Accept the sword who give uh, with uh, gifts for the farmer. Yeah, I guess I could give it to the farmer. It would give us more culture. Sword is mine by right. Give it to me. Oh, well, come on now. That would be a, an asshole. Let the curse. No, that, no. Let's do it. Let's give us more culture. Why not? Let's get the strange sword. It's going to give us probably some luxuries or stuff like that. So we might as well we're getting uh we're working on this festival to upgrade our culture right now what about agad right now it's it's not gaining anything see it doesn't uh it doesn't have any culture per turn right now we're working all uh, all of this i'm guessing all these events right with the culture and everything they're gonna happen in the next turn it's supposed i i'm not sure if it helps only babylon or if it helps help us the both cities i don't know babylon is doing great with the culture uh let's just continue with these two uh, workers i'm just going to continue to add some roads here okay he's done almost there we go holy shit that took a long time that was uh, almost bad we do have the road right here okay so we can see it i just wanted to make sure yeah i'm just gonna put him here add a road so we can build stuff over the roads right we can build roads anywhere i just want to make sure these two cities Make it quicker for our people to tra uh, traverse, right? So that now they can make it right there in no time, probably. Uh, let me go ahead and take care of this guy right here. Actually, we need, we wanted to add a general, right? Oh, he needs to heal up. He probably got attacked or something. What is this? I think that's a spearman. So, okay. Let's just add a general. And my king's going to be the general, obviously. He's going to be the general of this unit. There we go. We need to add a general to this unit right here as well. Okay, so the queen could be our general for this one. She's got some courage, so yeah. Let's get her in there. She's got some courage. She can definitely fight. Uh, so we're going to get her for that. Next unit would be our, our scout. So our scout, we're going to send them simply over there. There we go. Okay, I think we're good, boys. We're gonna need to think about maybe getting some production uh, or a settler near uh, for another city uh, soon enough. Or I mean, our second city is, is already a citizen too, right? So I'm thinking once it's at a citizen, this is at citizen five or something. We might want to to go up or something like that. I'm thinking that's what we should do uh, at least. Uh, end the year? No, not yet. Not yet. I want to make, make sure that we take a look at everything. H2, H21. We're good. We're gaining a lot of civics per turn because I'm working on a bunch of stuff. So that's really good. Okay, so there we go. Using the sword. What shall you do with the mysterious sword? It is a rare treasure indeed. I will wield it in battle. That would be pretty interesting actually. Uh, plus 50% for the infantry. Interesting. So it's a bonus of attack, really. Plus 4 legitimacy. If it's on pl public display. Which legitimacy... What does it really do for us? It gives us more t uh, orders. But I don't really need legitimacy right now. I've got plenty, really. And uh, over, I will set it to a wealthy collector. I don't need money. I'm going to wield it in battle. 
I'm going to use it for the battle, man. It would be really great to have that. So, okay, so these two are done almost. I'm actually going to go ahead and continue to, uh, the road system. I think we're connected. Yeah, we're connected to the city now. So we're done here. We can actually use that worker right here if I can use it uh, eventually. There we go. Uh, so this is a query that right here that we could build. I don't know if I want to build a query just yet. I probably need farms for this. Or a shrine. Oh, a shrine, boys. Hold on. Or some nests. Let's go for the nest right here. There we go. Build another nest. Nest first and the shrine afterwards. Uh, the, the scout. Sure, why not? Just go ahead and... We got plenty of turn we can do. The uh, orders... We got orders that we can do like uh, crazy right now. We can do whatever we want. Next unit over here. All right, so we got our general. We don't have, we're getting like training points, but not enough right now. So just gonna uh, get over here to the city. I don't know how much, I, I know they probably have more than one city right here. So that's why I wanna be careful. I wanna get closer to their city and uh, ask them. So I'm gonna take, probably gonna be two more turns before actually declaring war to them or something like that next unit. Oh yeah, that's right. These uh, these guys. So fortify. No, I'm not gonna fortify. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this and attack them. There we go. There we go. There. I think we're good. So we started to attack them. I think we should be good. Hopefully he doesn't look the leg like his father did. Hopefully he does a little bit better here. All right. Next year, choose a research monasteries. That would be great because we could have some. Actual like we could actually have a religion right away like that free Arcadian archers That's a, a random archer from our own. That would be interesting a fort Forts would be great though, but that would take 12 years to do I don't know if we should do that. Let's just focus on the main thing pasture. It's only take it to take uh, three turns Okay, so next unit so this guy we're gonna go ahead with you and uh, work on no I don't want to work on that let's just work on farms I guess or the shrine yeah we should probably I'm just gonna take you there or oh, actually no okay you can't but over here you can we could build a farm anyways there so over here we're gonna take that there we go build a shrine a shrine so that's gonna take six years but it's really gonna help our culture I'm focusing on the culture just like did uh, like I did with Babylon earlier on once that's all done, right, it's going to be great. Because right now, oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, this worker is done. So there we go. So we've got already plus two from this nest right here. we got plus two culture. At least there's that, right? Culture is really important if we want to finish stuff fast, right? So that's why uh, it's really important to me. Festival is going to be done in one turn as well. So that means it's going to be at plus three now because of that in the next turn. we got another nest. Uh, build a nest that would give us only that wouldn't give us anything Anything that I want really well in that case. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna build barracks. I think I'm just gonna build this uh, right here. So right here. We need woods I'm just gonna purchase woods. I guess there we go make some woods there we go and a farm there we go so four more years for the farm to be done Next unit. I like the fact one of the things I'm gonna attack right here. There I go. Actually, we're doing a lot of damage with uh, that. I guess that that uh, sword and everything. That's that's really great for us. Yeah. Next, I guess uh, what's really good is we're really gonna make it done in the in no time, right? We're gonna have subculture. I know how to build the cities now, so I think I'm good. I'm actually gonna. Go ahead and uh, fortify or promote. No, I'm just going to keep you there. What about our scout right here? We There's a barbarian camp here. We're not going to worry too much about it. We're not definitely not going to worry too much about it. There's kind of barbarian uh, camps everywhere. All right. Yeah, we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, it is what it is. Just going to move down there to protect my uh, scout a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead. Return the dice. No, we did give them uh, some dice, right? So I think as to declare war on Assyria, 
Break peace with king, uh, queen? No. I don't want to break peace. Ask to declare war. Let, let, let's ask her to declare war on Assyria. Let's go. It does cost uh, 200 though. Okay, before we do that then. Because we do have 200 right now. It's 400 for uh, for that. Okay, it's two, uh, yeah, 400 for anything really. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. I need some allies. I really need some allies. So I'm going to need her big time. So as to declare a war. The Kurds wishes to gain the cooperation of the Egyptians in the campaign against Assyria. They will require some persuasion. For sure. For sure. We will offer gold. Yeah, we can offer them gold. I mean, I've got plenty of gold. Uh, a tribute for Egypt uh, to Egypt is in order. Uh, plus two, minus 28 per turn. We could do that. I still gain a lot. Or they must simply trust us. We'll just offer them gold. Straight up, just gold. Oh, you can see 61 years of age. Their queen is uh, is actually uh, in there in age. She might die uh, soon. Uh, let me just... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So, as uh, for them to declare a war, did we do it? And uh, next turn we're going to see. So, next turn we're going to see. I'm going to have to take care of that uh, unit first. Now, I only have one unit right here. It's my queen uh, having it. So... Yeah, that's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but uh, we'll deal with it, boys. So let's see if they accept. If they accept, that means we have a conjointed war, a coalition war against uh, Assyria, which is going to be fantastic for us. We're two against one, really. Barbarian's turn. Okay. Palatum the Merchant, Tutor's Prince, your son. Okay. Tutor's uh, the Prince. So one of our Palatin, right? Uh, or one of our Tutor's. Helped out our our prince, which means it gives our prince some wisdom right away, just like that. That's awesome. All right, let's just go ahead and finish them off. There we go. Abandoned supplies. You have come across an abandoned enemy supply cache of your recent victory, but your troops can only carry so much. Grab their weapons or grab their stuff. Uh, grab their weapons. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. That's really gonna help out uh, as well, my myself, right? It gives uh, me some XP and stuff like that. I've got a lot of charisma, I gotta tell you that. That's what's helping out so much with that right now. Look at that. Plus 38 right now. So are we at war? Did they accept? I don't know. Let me just go ahead and... Are we at war? Okay, I don't know yet if we're at war. I don't want to do anything right here. Fuck. Uh, choose production over Babylon. So that's what's helping out so much. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So that's done, right? It's completed. I'm pretty sure that's what's helping out. No, no, that's been done last year. Oh, no, it's the walls. There we go. So we got some walls of our cities to protect ourselves. There we go. What is this? Mercenary Macement? A mercenary band of Macement has arrived in the capital offering their allegiance for a price. How shall we respond? Uh, military drill. Pay them their services? Sure, pay them their services. There we go. We got some mercenaries. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Let's uh, promote them though. Definitely promote them. Bloodthirsty. Damage to units. Yeah, bloodthirsty. There we go. We're going to promote them. Add a general to them afterwards. So we're getting another unit for free, basically. Uh, next unit. Don't want that. Come on. Give me a break with that one. So what do we work on for next for Babylon, right? Uh, would give us more money and also would give us actual uh, culture. Would be great. I mean, it only takes two turns. We work on it so much right now. Only two turns. What about festival? Uh, that's plus two for culture. I mean, that would uh, for the forum though would give us plus four uh, civics. I think civics were uh, started to do good though. But if I do civics, can I uh, up it? I, I can't up it, so I might as well just do treasury for now. It gi it's going to give us more money. It's only going to take two years. It's going to give more, more money and more re culture for the city as well. Special recognition. What is this? After numerous bitter encounters, uh, Meli Shipak the Younger. Okay, that must be of uh, the other city or stuff like that. Comes to us, demanding a unique position on the court. One with true power and responsibility. He has proven, uh, proven that to be a thorn on our side, but if ignored, he also uh, has the power to make our lives more difficult. 
Motherfucker, not this time. I'm going to war right now. Minus five legitimacy. Plus two uh, culture per turn though. Uh, we have no choice but to yield to him. Let, let him dem uh, make demands until he is blue. He is blue in the face. That will give us more courage as a, as a king. Which we don't have actually any courage right now. As a warrior that would be pretty great. Uh, that right there. Well, only one title is good enough for him. Horse has. Oh my god. Wow. Well, king uh, would give us a lot of XP in the thing. Plotting against the king, huh? Will give us discipline as well. Charisma and discipline. Seven charisma. We got some discipline. Let's just let's just entice him. Fuck it. I don't care. There we go. Only one title. He's gonna be the horse's half. That's what he's gonna be. All right. Let's just continue over here. We don't have anything else. Looks like we come across the end of it uh, here. All right, so did did they accept? I don't know if they accept. Are they at war? Are they at war with? Uh, they are at war with Assyria. They are. So I can actually officially myself declare war to their city. They're unprotected. They went for it. They went for it. There we go. They're going for it. So I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in, boys. So Assyria, let's uh, declare war to the king. Proceed with poor appropriations. It is not at the time. No. Proceed. We are at war. Co coalition war. Us and Cleopatra or whoever the pharaoh is. Us and the uh, pharaoh are going at war against these guys. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and start shooting. We can bombard them, right? It's an archer. So we can just simply bombard the city. They do have a warrior unit right there. That's a swordsman, isn't it? That's a warrior unit. Okay, no. It's all good. I don't know if they're going to come back from behind, if that's so. I don't know if they want to focus more on the Egyptians or on me. I don't know, boys. But right now, I really need my... I'm going to send, obviously... I'm going to heal them up. And afterwards, I'm going to send them over there. So, we're good, boys. We're way good. I do need to... Duke Amel Mardik. Okay, so... Let me see really quick. My inheritance. Alright, so... I don't know whoever that one guy was from the other family, right? That I put up a CD for. They don't seem too happy, man. So, they might be a problem to me. They might uh, try to kill me or something. I'm a bit too young for that. Come on now, give me a break. Don't kill me yet, alright? I don't have time for this shit, for family disputes. Oh, they're going back for me. Some of them are going back for me. They're attacking me, as you can see. A serious turn. We're supposed to see what they do. Um, in terms of uh, when we're at war with them. Okay, yeah, they're attacking us big time. Okay. Yeah, we're losing a lot of health right now. Oh, I think they're gonna... I think my queen's gonna die. Yeah, yeah, they killed. Okay, it's all over. They killed my queen. Well, I don't know if my queen is dead or if she just retreated or something. In the last few years, her wife has demonstrated a natural uh, attitude for public speaking. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Be uh, whatever you want. Okay, so she's not dead. But the units are dead and stuff like that. So what is this? Early disciples. High on the sea cliffs, a circle of round stone rounds gazes out over the uh, crashing waves. The inhabitants of these lawns. His isolated dwellings must have desired true serenity. One explorer recognizes a fam a familiar symbols and uh, nearby cave carvings. What could be seen as early icons of Judaism. Can we have our first religion? Perhaps the site was a primitive temple of monastery of its followers. So Judaism is the religion that uh, the Egyptians that do have. Return to the temple for its glory. Judaism. Uh, use the rubble for needed supplies. See, I don't want to be Jude. I don't want to have this religion. I want to be Christian, though. So, let's see. Uh, what about this? Would give us more stone. And, uh, let's just use the rubbles. Use the rubbles. Uh, perfect. Okay. I Let me just use a scout, I guess, over here. There we go. Going to move him really quick, boys. Hasn't really encountered anything. What is that? Internet stuff. All right. I think that's another... Uh, oh, no. That's just uh, Persia right there. Okay. Ali is just Persia. I need to re really heal myself up right here. 
There we go. Heal your units. Okay, so we're going to retreat. For now, we're going to let uh, the Egyptians do what they did. I did deal some damage, but my army just got destroyed. That was my first army, too. So, uh, that I ever had. So, my queen, you can go back there. Go back. You're going to come back as the general for this uh, unit, for this mercenary unit right there. Archer killed. I know. It is war after all, so it's only normal. So, it's a loss. What is that? Why are we working on festivals? Over festival? Okay. No, I don't want to work on another festival after that. Yeah, we're going to need to work on treasury or something like that afterwards. Okay. I think we're good, boys, right now. Ausbender is going to be one, done in one turn. We have... So, uh, peace. You cannot attack each other. That's fine. E Egypt. We're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. Uh, obviously, they have a lot more units than me. I'm going to have to build an army right here. So, I wanted to be at war with another uh, civilization or another nation. Now, it is time for me to really move on. So, they've got two cities back to back to each other. I, I didn't know that. See, I didn't know that. They're really close to each other, the, their two cities. So, unlike us, right, they can really do some damage if they build up some units. Yeah. I just want to build culture. I don't care about training, right? Training, sure, it would help us for to promote our units and stuff like that. But right now, I don't really need worry too much. What I gotta do is just be a good, a great general and really force my units to be great in battle. So uh, they're gonna XP themselves during battle, anyways. So let's just move out our units now. I don't know exactly what they are, what type. They're macemans. Which they have a lot of strength. Look at that, that strength right there. So that's really good. Bloodthirsty as well. So they do a little bit more damage. They're gonna do a lot of damage. What about you? Oh, okay. So it's better than my act the actual warrior. So it, it should be able to do a lot of damage. Babylon production is done. So I think we got the treasury, right? That's really good. We're getting a lot of money per turn now, a lot of coins. And uh, that's really helping out our culture as well. It's going way up. Festival uh, forum. I'm, I think I'm just going to go for forum maybe. Or a festival. No. Yeah. Forum or treasury. I'm going to go. Or actually, I need units. Yeah. No. I need units right now. If I go for, say, a slinger. Because I definitely need uh, an archer. Do I not have archers? I don't have money. What is that that I need? I need wood. Oh, okay. I can I can work with that no problem shift uh, how about a uh, hundred right there just like that there we go wanted a hundred I'll give you a hundred my guy there we go build an archer there we go uh, eight turns for the archer to be done but we need an archer I, I can get it via the uh, towards the civics so we, civics I can get it I need patrons so I don't know what patrons is where it is I'm gonna have to figure that out, boys. I need patrons for these shits. Uh, what about... Uh, I'm gonna just continue to go on this side then. Right here. There we go. Uncover what's going on on this side. There we go. It seems like uh, there's only us. There's gotta be another land somewhere. Or something like that, boys. There's gotta be... The Queen Consort... Belisinu... Has died. Oh, wait. What is that? So, that's our queen? Oh, okay. Alright. Well, the, the queen, the former queen, I should say. So, her mother died uh, this year. Probably died of old age, I think. Severely ill, yeah. She died of old age. So, that's that, I guess. We're both uh, very young still. Our old, uh, younger brother, which should be... I think he is a general right now, right? He's one of our generals. Or I wanted him to be, but he's not a general just yet. A king is, though. Yeah, I think uh, we're doing fantastic, boys. Let's just continue here. Kato uh, tutors our prince again. So Kato's doing. Our, we got plenty of tutors. We got three tutors, which means they can really help my son like grow a lot in terms of stuff. He is now as plus one courage. He already has wisdom and courage. That's perfect. That's perfect. Our son is growing nicely, boys. Uh, what about this? So can we build this? I don't know. You, you don't have anything really that we can do. So we're just going to go ahead. Do you have your full on health? Go ahead and move all the way there, buddy. Let's go. Got to help out the Egyptians. I don't know if they're going to last too long if we don't help them out. Uh, some farms. 
let's take a look real quick at the city uh they do need the festival has been completed anyways now that the festival's completed they you do gain six uh per turn so that's really good uh walls we could work on the walls but they're a bit far from me so i don't need to worry too much about that right now i think treasury would be really great for us so we're just gonna work on treasury for this one there we go and we're also so what could possibly work for us i guess i'm just gonna go for the nest right here it's gonna give us more growth i guess for the city and stuff like that it's at population three right now and babylon's at population five i, I did say a population five i wanted to have another city but might not be the right time right now to do it because we're at war so yeah, we might want to just wait up a little bit they do have another city they settled here the egyptians all right interesting they settled here okay uh let me see real quick so they have you know, they have plenty of cities they're still going strong they still have two cities though uh yeah that's gonna be rough okay so uh, runaway princess what is this late one evening there's a knock at your door roxanne heir to the persian uh, throne she is beautiful 22 years of age yo she's a beautiful lady holy shit all right stands outside young princess has fled her palace with hopes of escaping her responsibility she wishes from her father's agent in persia and start okay so she wants to hide uh, it's only a matter of time before the Persians arrive, though. If we hide her, return to the per return and claim she attempted to sell. We're not cruel. We don't do that type of thing. So, conceal. Roxanne provided her with whatever she needs. The king is going to be suspicious, though. Uh, Roxanne, return her. But the king, uh, she's going to be disappointed in me. I know the king is going to be. The king's not going to like us too much because of that. He's already upset enough, but um, let's just conceal her. I don't care. That's not, that's all good. Uh, free archers. So discovery archer in Babylon. We can get a free archer just like that. We could do that. Phalanx we get get some spearmen as well. I don't know. Uh, might not be the time uh, for stuff like these anyways. Battle line macemans. Yeah, we already have some free macements that we gained. They're really good, actually, the macements. I'm thinking uh, going for one of these, but since free archers is going, right? Permanently trash when uh, discarded. Okay, let's just go to, uh, do that. Free archers, boys. Let's go. Oh, long fall. What is this? Palace servants being ter uh, bring terrible news. Your son, Sin Bu uh, Mubalit was climbing the fruit trees along the high wall when he lost his balance and fell he was killed instantly this guy killed himself oh my god he fell and died my son fell and died i think that was my uh, youngest uh, son though it's not my my heir uh fuck me all right a statue in his uh place let's put a statue in the palace garden in his honor so which one was that yeah, that was my youngest son. So it's, it's my, it wasn't my heir. So we're good. We still have one son left. But fucking he, he went and climbed a tree and fell and died. What a fucking idiot. What is this, boys? An idiot that son is, I swear. All right, so our king is now healed, boys. That's not good. He's he's going for the battle right now, right? That's our king right here. Uh, we cannot have him to be healed. We cannot permit him to be a hill man right now that's that's the last thing we need so let's just go over here there we go looks like that unit is healing up so the, we're getting closer to the battlefield right now let's put these two together we're gonna stick them together i really need to do that we're gonna actually uh fortify them both fortify them both because i really need if uh, we start getting attacked and stuff like that we're getting to enemy territory here into the war so in one turn that's going to be done good what, uh, what else do we have? Nothing else so far. Six turns still for that. We have 353. Okay. Great Archievers. So, or, or, I, or Achiever. No, Great Achievers. What am I... I, didn't, I don't know how to pronounce stuff, boy. So, a group of talented commoners has been brought before the court to be recognized from their, for their achievements with a small investment. They, we may offer one person the chance to be raised to the status of nobility 
Whom shall we choose? The infantry captain? Okay, go uh, a great soldier. We can have a great merchant. Or we cannot afford We can afford it, definitely. Great soldier or great merchant, boys? What does that even give us? I mean, it joins the court and everything. We need an ambassador right now. Uh, I'd say the great soldier. Infantry captain, there we go. So, great soldier. Is that it? Is that the true great soldier? I don't know, boys. But uh, right now, we do need... Uh, shit. Yeah, we need to... We need an ambassador. An ambassador, so... He would be great. Plus 50 uh, opinion. So, plus... No gold or two to your royal family. He is tutoring my royal family though. Man, he's he's old. What the fuck? Holy shit, he's getting old, boys. I like how it looks though. Right there, picture and everything. Oh, this is the guy that is we have a f we're having a feud with right now, right? Ambassador. He wanted to be uh, higher in the court though. The Duchess. I don't know. She is part of our family. Plus 50, 40 opinion per year. XP and everything. Uh, it would cost us though. Some uh, some stuff. I'm not entirely sure right here. I don't know. Uh, one of these two. One of these two boys. Uh, I can't have this one. So it's going to be have to be one of these two. I don't necessarily trust him. Mel Shipak the Younger. I'm just going to go for my family. There we go. Just go for my family. There you go. She's an ambassador. That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't really hurt us. She does have plus three charisma. That's our. Uh, that's uh, helping us though. So Kato. Oh yeah, right. I was wondering where Kato did where, went, but he died. So Kato are one of our tutors, right? Older tutors. He died. So of old age. So everybody's starting to die of old age. Persia went up. It's the best uh, nation right now. It's got five points. It probably has another city then. That's probably why. There we go. Build up our, our scouts right there. Let me see. Persia. Yeah, they have five cities now. God damn. They're building these cities like crazy. They have so many cities. That shit is ridiculous. How many cities can they truly have, right? So is that the soldier? Yeah, that's the soldier. That's a girl too. That's crazy. All right. Archetype. So I could probably use her as a soldier eventually too. She's on my court after all. I think we're good here. Yeah, we're fortified and everything. So we're doing just fine. I'm going to leave it right here, boys. Next turn, uh, next video, we're going to continue our war, our assault over Assyria. Looks like it's the stalemate between the Egyptians and Assyrians right now. Not really a lot happening. They do have something right here. What is that? That's a scout. Okay, the scout can't really do anything. Plus, we have walls. So, I don't need to worry about the scout at all. But uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.